This is the Lucy Beatrix podcast. So my boyfriend Hamid and I are in Copenhagen and we just went to Berlin and watched the Berlin Marathon. So I thought it'd be fun to just talk about the kinds of things that we saw in Germany and um, what it was like at the race. Sadly, I wasn't running the race. Um, I was supposed to, but my um, I have this injury, injury that's been nagging me for the past month and a half. And so we just watched and... Um, that said, it was a lot of fun, and we walked around Berlin like crazy and um, got to experience a lot of the the culture. But what was something that you noticed about Berlin that was surprising to you? How many Americans there are, actually. I don't know if it's just because of the marathon or not, but actually I think the fact that there were so many American kids kind of confirms that there are a lot of Americans living there. Yeah, because we got on the train and we noticed um, these kids speaking English and talking about Instagram and stuff. And it was kind of funny to see, see that because we did take a train out to um, a smaller city called Potsdam. Um, but so that said, we were there for the marathon. There were a lot of Americans in town probably to watch the marathon, um, including a bunch of my friends. And um, the thing about the course at, in Berlin is that it's really flat. It's really conducive towards PR. So the, the record was set for the marathon for women. And um, that's because it's a really optimal course for, for fast times. And so I got to see a bunch of teammates of mine that I trained with back in Brooklyn. And uh, you were there with me when I, I, was, I was getting pretty emotional watching the finishers coming through around the mile 24 mark. And... Um, being able to just see see runners that I used to do do workouts with run the OTQ time was pretty amazing, but at the same time, it's it's bittersweet because um, with my injury, it's just been like kind of a just this like mental battle, like seeing what I want to be doing and being face to face with a thing that I really want to be doing and then not being able to do it. So um, yeah, it's like it's hard, but um, but you're you're the one who's actually spent the most time with me in between all of the um, excitement of the marathon and <laughs> like what have you seen with my injury and like from your point of view like how it's kind of like progressed or gotten better or worse over the past month mm. it seems to be kind of up and down with sometimes you feel pain and you like to try out running sometimes you're like oh, i definitely can't run so whether it's like consistently doing stairs or switching to um, inclined treadmill walking and then like, not that I'm watching you, but you telling me just kind of alternating between inclined walking and then actually trying to give it a go with running. Yeah. And like, as like, I feel like there should be this whole thing of like the boyfriends of injured runners where they just like have to listen to like, you know, any injured runner out there knows what it's like. Like you're going home and you're telling your partner about like oh I tried to run today and it seemed like it was gonna work and then I have pain now and I'm like limping around it's just like such a constant battle and um yeah it's just like this like mental mental thing that I've been trying to navigate but also not lose hope because it's like it's hard for someone like me because I feel like I'm I have done things that I I'm really proud of with running but I feel so far away from that girl and a year ago who was running these fast times I'm like I don't even know how I – I like I physically can't wrap my – or mentally can't wrap my head around what I was able to do based on how I feel now with like this injury. So it's pretty um, rough, but it's also fun to just like be like kind of outside of the running for a little bit and just enjoying like being on a vacation and like seeing things from a different point of view and actually getting to – watch and enjoy something like the marathon which is something that i never really have done before of like going to a big big race like this traveling to one and then watching people do big things um but but while the now that we're in copenhagen and we're actually like just like walking around and exploring um it's it's really interesting to see the difference between berlin and denmark and just how rather than like the stark gray um not industrial but like the way that Berlin is like a big city, the way like maybe Manhattan or financial district is, Copenhagen doesn't feel like that at all. It's a lot more like of like beautiful buildings and old, old, old architecture and just like so much, um, so much like beautiful like castles and stuff. And it's just like in the city, which is pretty unique. But so what are we doing tonight? We're going to go. 
What, what do you mean eating? Yeah. Actually, <laughs> I, we are gonna go to this place called Restaurant Tight, but I don't know. I don't know if their menu changes every day or what. But I was just looking at. It. I was like, I don't know if this is as LB friendly as we thought. So I want to look up some plans. What's LB friendly? LB friendly. Have you not talked about this? Well, before? no. I just like like that. It's like you call that LB friendly. It's uh, you know, vegetables and gluten free <laughs> and relatively low i guess carbohydrates and oil and depending on how you're feeling it may or may not have fish yeah exactly he's got the the lucy beatrix diet like down pat at this point um after being around it so much but the funny thing is we got in kind of late last night and then we went to a random grocery store across the street from our hotel that we're staying at and just looking in the aisles of a danish grocery store and trying to find like things that i feel excited to eat i found a jar of potatoes that were in like salt water and brine they were really good and hamid got like smoked salmon and um like a bowl of just different like vegetables and like rice or something what was it was it rice or what was the grain I actually don't remember. It was not rice, though. It was um, it wasn't bulgur either, but it was some kind of green thing, but with uh, edamame and peas, which is a weird combination, but it was good, and some uh, tzatziki basically at the bottom of it. Yeah, it was uh, an interesting little makeshift dinner. But like traveling, that's kind of how it goes. Like I had just dried fruit and like nuts and stuff just on the go. But um, yeah, so that's been like what that's been what the trip's been like so far. Just wanted to do a little update on the road episode coming to you from Denmark. And so until next time, just be fast, just win.